Hannah, my wife, is very traditional Catholic family, and I'm traditionally Protestant in the way that I've never gone to church. <laughs> now, people, can you believe? People say that my side, if we get married in a chapel, they're not coming to the wedding. Can you believe that? Yes. No. And I thought, fucking yes, that's it, Hannah. Pound save your bastard. <laughs> Because if you don't know this, I know this non Scots in. Traditionally, Catholics get married in a chapel and Protestants like me get married in a chapel lodge. <laughs> so, I thought, fuck it, I don't mind where we get married, right? Because I loved her and I thought, well, so we get married in a place that's called St Mary's in Lanark. Hey. It's based on the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo. Right, I mean the artist, not a teenage mutant ninja <laughs> He was a prodigy, he was a prodigy. <laughs> He was on man. <laughs> but see when you're see when you're a non-Catholic, right? When you're a non-Catholic, you gotta go and meet the priest. You got to, he's got to okay in that, but the priest's so sick. And I'm panicking because I'm thinking we might not be able to but they bring in another priest for somewhere else. So I'm not just some sort of supply preacher. Like, <laughs> He's from, he's from Motherwell, right? Genuinely. He's from Motherwell. His name is Father Aki. <laughs> no, no, that's ironic. That's where I lost my opportunity in Greece. So he, he comes in, right? Now, I'm, I'm standing. I don't, honestly, right? I don't want to, I don't want to upset any of our family. Because I'm thinking, like, I don't want to upset. Because they're traditional and I respect that. But everybody else at the chapel, right, I'm in mass for the first time, wondering what's going on. They all start stretching off and doing lunges before we sit down. <laughs> and I'm thinking, fucking hell, they've all been to the gym, sort of thing, right? And do you know why, like, all the way through the service, they're up and down on their knees up and down, right? And it's like, fucking Zumba, you know, right? I actually had it, no, I thought it was musical chairs and I was going to turn around my chair with Bill here, right? But luckily, it was still there. I was like, ah, pew. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then I panic, I don't know what happens, the, the priest walks past me and he's carrying what looks like some sort of smoky handbag. Right? And I'm like, ah mate, your bag's on fire, your fuck, it's on fire, like, I thought somebody had stubbed out a cigarette. And I mean, who am I, who am I to shout health and safety advice to the Catholic community when their logo is some guy nailed to a cross? Right? And then, he fucking, he's, no, he starts screaming at Pringles. Because I'm not a Catholic, I don't get a fucking Pringle. Drinks nibbles and the savoury snacks. <laughs> and I said, But you fucking never offered me a Pringle. <laughs> and then I've to indicate to the priest through the art of mime that I'm a non Catholic. I have to do this, right? No, no, because sometimes you can get your piss by mistake. Right? <laughs> no, I've got a fucking heat allergy. Right? So she's like, uh, Crush yourself, crush yourself. <laughs> I'm actually, I like that cross time for an extra strong man. He's moving safe and back. You see, stop. If you're not a Catholic and you end up in a chapel, this is international sign for me no Catholic, me no get Pringle! I'm relaxed. I know. Trust me, I'm the comic doing that in Glasgow. I'm fucking no relaxed. <laughs>